The community of Ongwalume and the surrounding villages gathered in large numbers for the inauguration of the clinic. The clinic is one of the oldest health facilities established here before independence, and government recently decided to upgrade it, making it one of the largest primary health care facilities in the country. The area is close to a common border with Angola and Minister Kamu urged the nurses to provide services not only to the Namibians but also to Angolan nationals who come for medical attention. Dr. Kamu also urged the nurses to avoid rejecting patients who come without user fees and that contact details of standby medical personnel should be placed at the gate of the clinic after hours. When we talk of user fee. I am saying, first, you attend to the client. Don't send clients, those who are not well, back home for reasons that they do not have money. That is my directive. And I'm saying, whether they be Angolans or of course, we as Namibians, we are first and foremost. But in terms of the international regulation, that is the WHO, we attend to our visitors, we attend to those who are not well, irrespective of what they have. Currently, the clinic is run by a registered nurse and two enrolled nurses and the minister is appealing to the nation to behave kindly towards the nurses and appreciate the hard work among the health officials. I sometimes feel bad when you hear these nurses. No. I want to say there are unsung heroes and heroines among the nurses. And so are doctors. And that is the reason why Namibia has become a leader in terms of responding to killer diseases. Did you know that President Pohamba last year and this year received an award in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, for quality leadership in response to malaria. Did you know? But what excited the community of this region was the minister's announcement that four more clinics are to be constructed in their region before the end of the current financial year. This will be at Omhongo, Omafila, Onangulo and Omauni. He says it is government's plan that people be able to access health facilities with a distance of five kilometers from their homes. Jonathan Nishidudu, NBC News, Omgwelume.